Now to around the world dating and the woman who has gone on 34 first dates in 19 countries. What? This morning she's telling us just what inspired her to do this and, and what she's learned along the way. Rihanna and Allie has this story. And, and Rihanna, this seems like this is like 90 day fiance meets the travel channel. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that, Lindsay. We all know dating is hard enough in one country, but one woman is now traveling the world solo and meeting plenty of potential dates along the way. Around this time last year, 40-year-old Washington State native Lonnie James set out on a mission. I have always loved traveling and I've realized that there's benefits to traveling long term and you get a really unique piece when you can be overseas for a longer period of time. Travel the world to not only see the sights, but to make connections. She used online apps to set up dates with strangers. So far, She's gone on dates with 34 guys in 19 countries. I went paragliding on a date, which was so much fun. I'm a big adventure junkie. And then I've had dates where it's just been incredible chemistry and we've had the best conversation and haven't looked at our phones for five hours. Her wanderlust came from her mother, who never got to live her retirement dreams. She died after a long battle with Alzheimer's. Life isn't guaranteed. Retirement isn't guaranteed. Money, your health, travel, nothing's guaranteed. And I wanted to create the life that I wanted now. And I didn't want to put it off and hope that it would be a possibility somewhere down the line. So that's what I'm doing. Lonnie has also learned a lot about personal connections on her journey. She says the men she's met open up more since there's no pressure for a second date. I sit across from someone or go on a walk or go on an adventure and get to ask them about their culture. I get to ask them what it's like dating. I get to ask them about gender roles and their views on love and relationships. And while she's not afraid to catch feelings, she also knows she has to be careful. I don't let people know exactly where I'm staying. Anybody, whether it's a taxi driver or my date, I don't give out my number until I've met you. I share my location with people back in the States, <laughs> actually a couple different time zones, just to cover my basis because my time zone's always changing. <laughs> It's always changing, and she says she's going to keep traveling for at least another year. She's already planning date number 35, hopefully in Asia. She says she hopes to hike the Himalayas, which I think for a lot of people sounds a lot less treacherous than dating. So, guys, what do you think? Would you have been as fearless with dating around the world? I think I would have gone to Greece. I hear the Greek men's are the real romantic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bring Lindsay back. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.